Hey percussionists and welcome to your summer band camp 2020. We are going to just jump right in because I want to keep these videos nice and short and sweet and to the point. So first we're going to talk about snare drum and we're going to go through some warm ups and we're going to go start with our grit. Okay, so when you're using the Vic Firth, we are going to make sure your thumb is right on that flag and your pointer finger is going right straight across and everything else is just gently wrapping around and making contact with your stick. Okay, and you want to keep it nice and loose so that we can do some flops. Okay, so whenever I even am going to go do a drum gig or do something, I always warm up with some flops just so that I can get a little bit warmed up. Okay, so do some flops. Okay. And when I'm going to be using this acoustic snare drum, you're probably going to use your practice pad. But whenever you're doing it, whenever you're playing, make sure that you aren't too close or too far away. Okay? And that when you're playing, you play just a little bit off center. Okay? So, what we're going to start with is what I like to call eight on a hand. We're going to do eight on your right hand. 8 on your left hand, 8 on right, 8 on left. And we're going to start pretty slow and then maybe speed up a little bit. So make sure you're tapping your foot and we're going to start nice full strokes so that we can warm up. I'm going to play kind of soft just so that I don't overpower the mic. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Make sure you're using full strokes so that you can warm up those muscles. All right. Next, what we're going to do is our drops. Okay. I think I might turn off the snare drum, the snare, just so that it isn't too loud. Okay. And when we're doing our drops, you want to start nice and high and get as many bounces as possible so your rolls sound nice and smooth. So this is warming up for our rolls. Here we go. Some drops. Let's just do some on our right hand to start with. Left hand. And alternating. Cool. Now we're going to do our rolling exercise. So. We're going to start nice and slow and then speed up, go really nice and quick, and then slow back down. So slow, fast, and then slow again. Here we go.
taking them quick so I can make the videos shorter, but I like to use an app called Pro Metronome, and it looks kind of like this. And I like to start my exercises around quarter note equals 75. Okay, so like there, uh, it'll start really nice and slow, because if you can do it slow and right, then you can speed it up and do it fast and right. So, I would download this one if you have a smartphone or a tablet or something. If not, you can use a laptop and just Google metronome, or you probably have one just sitting in your practice bag. So, pull out that metronome and get going. All right, the next thing and the last thing we're gonna talk about is flams. And flams sound easy, but they're way harder than, than people think. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you are having the right hand positions, and we're gonna start with right hand on top. So, your right hand's gonna be nice and tall, your left hand's gonna be nice and close to the drum head, and all you do is just drop them at the same time. That's a flam. Okay? Right hand flams. Now, let's try to do some left hand flams. With your left hand on top, right hand's on bottom, and here we go. Okay? So, the kind of the tips that I like to think about when I'm doing flams is all I'm doing is just dropping them. Is the first thing. I'm not going full am, full am. We want to keep them just nice and easy, separated. Okay? If you hear me say open up your flam sometimes, that's because sometimes we crunch our flams like this. You hear that? They're not separated, so you want to get some space in between them. Like that. Let's do some alternating ones. Right, left, right, left, like that. Here we go. talked about. We talked about our grip, making sure everything is nice and we got our flops going. Okay. We talked about eight on the hand, getting the nice full strokes, our paradiddles and our drops, our rolling and our flams. So that's kind of the, what we're going to do for this week. We're going to keep them nice and short and simple. Um, we're going to do about six of these videos, one a week and then we're gonna be done. So it's kinda of up to you to pull out your, your practice pad and get to work. I'll see you next time.